So Terry Blacks is a very small. So Terry Blacks is a very small. <laughs> Cassiano Travels. Home of the family that lives by car and plane. I'm MJ. And I'm Christine. And I, Cashy. <laughs> there you go, Cashy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Today, we're going to be reviewing bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I think we are going now on day 42 of quarantine in our house, and we have stuck true and true to that. So we've had everything delivered to the house, groceries, gold belly. This is now our fourth gold belly review that we're gonna do. So we're super excited today to dig in. Today we're doing Terry Black's and we bought a whole five pound brisket. Now this thing is mammoth and I haven't weighed it yet to make sure it weighs five pounds, but I'm guessing they probably did the right thing. I try. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely about five pounds. <laughs> this, thing, this thing weighs as much as cash, so I think we're good. <laughs> So it's a whole brisket and it's already pre-cooked. So they sent it to us frozen on dry ice and we just thawed it out. So you have to give it about a day or two to thaw out and the cooking directions are pretty easy. You heat the oven at 300 degrees yeah. and then you let it cook for about two to two and a half hours. So Terry Black's is a small family owned business that's based out of Lockhart, Texas. They also have a location in Austin and they just opened one up a couple months ago in Dallas, Texas. Now Christine and I went for the first time to Terry Black's about six months ago. Christine, what were your thoughts on it? It was deep best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. And I grew up in Texas, that's saying a lot. It was so good. Yeah, it was amazing. I'm a big barbecue guy. I travel for work for a living. I've had barbecue in Texas, Memphis, Nashville, Kansas City, St. Louis, the Carolinas, Georgia, all over the country. <laughs> you, no. <laughs> he won't take no for an answer. Now when you think of Austin and you think of barbecue, you think of Franklin. <laughs> Unfortunately, the line at Franklin Barbecue is three and a half hours long and I'm not one to wait. Neither is Christine. We also had an 18 month old Cash sitting with us and that wasn't going to happen. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. Oh. So my good friend Dan told me about Terry Black's and we headed yeah. over there. I have to say, this brisket is the best brisket I've ever had in my life. So I'm excited to throw this so in the good. oven and see what happens. Can't wait to dig in. This looks so good. Welcome back. Woo! I am so excited for this. This looks like exit. I can't even. She can't even talk. No. This must be very exciting. This looks exactly like the way I remember it when we went to Terry Black's. It looks so tender. This looks like burnt ends, which I am so so pumped about that was like my favorite part of their brisket was that you got the brisket taste but with the burnt end flavor so it was like having the best of both worlds i am just so, so excited to dig in one thing about terry blacks is the rub is pretty simple they use salt and pepper that's the bark very simple they cook it low and slow and for those of you out there that don't know a lot about a brisket there's the fatty end and there's the lean end we cooked the fatty end so this is going to be a little bit juicier but a little bit more calorie dense Shout out to Terry Blacks. I actually weighed the brisket and they sent us six pounds. So they said five, that's what I bought, and they gave us six. And six is way too much for the three of us, so I cut it into thirds. So we're having the fatty end tonight, the lean end tomorrow night, and the center section, which will be a little bit of both later on next week. So I had to adjust the cooking time just a little bit. The regular whole brisket was supposed to take about two and a half hours. This I did for about an hour and 15 minutes or so. Anyways, let's dive in. Look at this. Bad boy. I mean, you cannot beat that. This is probably the most excited I've been for one of our videos. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, it's so tender. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Really good. Super tender. You like that? Look how tender this is. So tender. This is the most tender barbecue I've ever had at home. Can I have some brisket? 
That good. Thank you, Cashy. Yeah. All right. I think a couple more bites and I got my rating. I feel like I need to try this like burnt end piece before I can like really give it a good review. There's the burnt end. There's the burnt end. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh. All right. Let's try the burnt end real quick. Again, this is from the fatty side of the brisket. A lot harder to chew. Mm -hmm. Is it exactly how you remember? Close. Not exactly. I agree. Is this the best barbecue I've had at home? Yeah, it is. Is this exactly how I remembered it at Terry Black's? No, I, I remember it being like way better. This is still amazing, but my review here at home versus at Terry Black's it would probably vary a little bit. The brisket's pretty spot on, especially that those fatty pieces that we had. It was really the mm, burnt ends the burnt portion ends. for me that kind of ruined it. Yeah. I love burnt ends, but these were just like leather. Now, it could have been me. I could have maybe overcooked it, but I followed instructions as much as I could, and that part was pretty tough. It was like chewing on a shoe. But the brisket part is amazing. Brisket's amazing. As always, we're gonna judge off of three things. The first thing is visual appeal. The second is the taste. And the third is how it compared to when we actually had it fresh at the restaurant. So with that being said, Christine, what's your rating? You know, I think I'm gonna have to go with like a 7.4. Wow. Simply because, simply because I hold them to such a high standard. When we went there in person, I think I would have rated it a 9.8 out of 10. It was out of this world incredible. If you ever have a chance to go into Terry Black's in person, amazing. But I just have such a high standard for him. Having it at home, I would say it was a little bit of a letdown just because I knew what it tasted like in person. So 7.4 from Christine. So for me, I was thinking this might be in the high eights when I took those first couple bites. The thing that kind of knocked it down for me was the dryness and, and the leather-like taste of the burnt ends. That knocked it down for me. I'm gonna go 8-1. 8-1, and the reason being, the visual appeal is incredible. It looks good, it looks no different than when you get sliced fresh in the restaurant. The taste is pretty good, it's not as good. The comparison between here and the restaurant having it fresh, it's a full point or two below that. It's still really good. The smoke ring's pink and around the edge like it should be. The taste is there, the flavor's there. Salt and pepper bark is unbeatable. But just not as good and again yeah. like Christine said we hold them in high regards and oh. it just wasn't the same so 8-1 for MJ could have been our fault I don't know cash yeah. what do you I rate it, it seems to kind of be enjoying it yeah he does it's not his favorite I can tell it's not his least favorite either so I'm gonna <laughs> say 7.0 for cashy yep I agree he ate it a lot better in the restaurant oh he's spitting some out <laughs> <laughs> Thanks as always for watching. If there's any other restaurants you want us to review from Gold Belly, write those in the comments below. In the meantime, we're gonna need you guys to get out of here so we can finish this brisket. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Stay safe out there. Oh.